It's right here. It's right here. Guess what we got today? Boom! Alrighty, look what we just had delivered. Mm -hmm. I am pretty freaking excited about about this delivery. All right, so a couple of things. First, the only thing that we're gonna be doing in this video because I have to go to work here really soon, we're only gonna be doing an unboxing. And the reason I kinda like doing unboxings, you know, on camera is because I want you guys to see, you know, exactly what I see. So if for some reason you guys do order these exact same cells, you kinda know what to expect. That's pretty much the only reason I like to show an unboxing. All right. So so we're going to be doing an unboxing and then we will probably just take like a closer look and I'm going to at least inspect all the batteries to make sure they're not damaged or anything like that. And then I don't really know how much time I will have left. So this may be a short video. I don't know. We'll see. All right, so before I actually do that real quick, I know everybody wants to know how much and where I got them from and you know, all the details. So I wrote all that information on my Hello Kitty notepad here. Alrighty, so I bought 16. I don't know if they're Lycian or Lycian. Are you listening to me? It sounds like a lisp. I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce it. I'm gonna call them Lycian that's wrong, you know, make fun of me in the comment section. All right, so I bought 16 of the Lycian 272 amp hour prismatic Life PO4 or lithium iron phosphate batteries. There's like 12 names you could use for these. Um, they do say 272 and then in like the little thingies, I don't know what they're called, but they say 280 amp hours. So uh, eventually I am going to test these and we will find out. I digress, sorry. Alright, so 16 of those I paid $78 each, which comes out to $1,248. And then there is $322 for shipping for a total of... Where'd that go? Didn't have that one down. For a total of $1,570. And then there's like this weird fee or something that's on the end. Um, maybe it's trade assurance. I'm not 100% sure. That was like 40 bucks. So the grand total was $1,610 shipped to my door. All right, so I ordered on January 21st this year, and this is 2021, and they were delivered on March 16th. You do the math on how many days that is, it seemed like an eternity. Anyway, they are finally here. Now that that is out of the way, let's uh, do a quick unboxing. We got four boxes. Oh, jeez. These are a lot heavier than I thought they were gonna be. So the box looks pretty good, and I need my little cat friend with all the claws to help me open these up. I wonder where he's at. He's probably up there sleeping. I don't even know how you pronounce that. Is it Bazin, Bazin? I'm not sure, but they sent me a little card in here. Your reliable power. Let's see what it says. Looks like we do have a little bag here. Let me just uh, open that up real quick since it's right here on top. Oh, and these are all the, the bus bars, nuts, and um, the little studs or grub screws is what they call it. So these are supposed to be copper and coated in either nickel or, you know, something. I'm not sure yet. And they do send grub screws. The length of these, if anybody is asking, 20 millimeters and 0.788 inches long. All right, 78 thousandths or 0 0.078 inches, two, two millimeters. Serrated flange nuts, and they also included an Allen wrench for the top side. So that all looks um, pretty good to me, and I think these are supposed to be stainless. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nuts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four bus bars and the Allen wrench. So that's good. You don't need to order those nice. Oh, foam packaging. Might have to... Well, it's packed really good. I can't get this foam off yet. All right, so four cells in each box. Can you see that? All right, so we have four cells in each box. Um, the top appear to be good, but let me pull them out of the box so we can take a closer look. I would say the packing was excellent. I was not expecting how heavy these were. Holy moly, dude. 
They look deceiving. They're like ninja batteries. Yeah, it's like a 10 out of 10 on packaging. Just FYI. All right, so I'll bring the camera down here a little bit closer so you can take a look-see if you want. I'm just gonna get them all out of the boxes first and then we'll take a closer look. How about that? All right, so these are 272 amp hour Lyshen 3.2 volt lithium iron phosphate cells. Each battery has its QR code intact. All the terminals on the battery are made from aluminum, so you definitely want to be careful and not over torque them. They can do 1C charge and discharge continuous, or you could do 2C charge and discharge for up to 60 seconds. Average life cycle is 3500 cycles however I have read if you compress the batteries which the manual does state you end up getting a longer lifespan and it does come with some pretty nice stainless steel hardware and four bus bars the bus bars are copper with a nickel coating on them the grub screw or studs are a size m6 they measure roughly 20 millimeters long the top side has the allen wrench hole and the other side is rounded to match the inside of the terminal on the battery and they also included the serrated flange nuts and of course they did supply one allen wrench which i forgot got to show in the picture boom all right so they are free from their boxes i did leave them in their respective you know box so box one two three and four that way if there's you know something wrong with one particular box then uh, maybe we can help narrow something down if there's a problem all right so i'm going to take a quick look at these and see if i find any damage and i will report back in one second <laughs> Alrighty, on the bottom, I put box one and one of four, two of four, etc. All right, so now we're on to the damage that I did find, and I don't think it's enough to write home about. I just might make a quick note to the seller. I don't know, you tell me what you guys think, and then I'll go from there. So, this is cell one out of box number one. There is just a little corner dent right here. Uh, hopefully the lighting is okay, and I did draw on there just so it was, you know, something to point with. That's on cell one, and that's the only thing that I saw. And then if I go to box four, cell four, I have one little dent right here. Um, I don't think these are, you know, nothing serious or anything like that. That was pretty much the, the biggest noticeable damage, I guess, if you will, that I found. Just some other notes that I did make is, so on my cell 14, at least that's what I'm calling it, is it kind of looks like they had maybe spot welded a bus bar on here and then maybe removed it. Or that is just part of like their testing probe that they put on these and then uh, remove it. But that's about, you know, the most, I guess, if you want to call it damage or marks. Hey ho, here's my cat too, by the way. Uh, that would be the one that has the most markings on it. All the rest are pretty much like that. Hopefully that's not too reflective, but this is the, I guess you would say the worst one. There we go, how's that? Is that a little bit better of a view? Yeah, dude, make a shadow, that works. Keep keep doing it, keep doing it. All right, so that would be a, another view of that right there. And look who finally showed up. Boom! Hey dude, you gonna help me uh, test all these batteries out? No, okay, see you later. Hey, you gonna help me test all these out? Sweet. Thank you. All right, so hopefully it's not too reflective, but uh, one of the things I did notice is this pressure relief right here is this one is all silver all the way around it. And if I go to one of the cells next to it, all the other ones, focus, are all blue. I don't know what that means or if it matters, but that was just one other thing that I did notice. All right, so what are your guys' thoughts on all of these prismatic cells? I, I'll tell you what, I am super excited because not that there's really anything wrong with my 18650 DIY power wall, except for my, you know, little wiring problem. It's not really a problem. 
just I didn't see that far in the future. If you weren't aware of this problem, I put two 10 gauge wires coming off of each battery pack. 10 gauge wires are really only for about 30 amps each. I've got two of them, so technically I can only run my, my battery packs at 60 amps. Slight flaw in the design. It wasn't really a flaw, it was just something I just didn't see far enough in the future that I would have a big enough inverter to run my house, which I do now. So anyway, I just can't run huge loads from this battery pack which is fine. I can still run most things minus my dryer and stove and air conditioning. So these batteries are going to be most likely just replacing the 18650s because, I mean, to be honest, I feel pretty lucky that I haven't had any problems because I do have all of this stuff indoors. I don't have a shed or anything like that, and I live in Nebraska, you know, and we get, actually this past winter, we got temperatures of like 49 degrees below zero. With the wind chill, the regular temperature was probably like minus 29 below zero Fahrenheit. So I really don't want to do a whole bunch of like extra stuff to a shed and all that stuff to keep things warm. So this is my, this is my next best option. So I can keep everything inside and protected and all that kind of stuff. I'm not hundred percent sure what I'm going to be doing with those, but time will tell. Anyway, sorry, I keep digressing. Uh, what do you guys think of these batteries? I'll tell you what, I don't really know everything or a whole lot about this chemistry quite yet so if there's any pointers that any of you guys have that have these cells I would love to know. I know some of the basic things but I know they are completely different than NMC. That's pretty much what I know. I do know that I'm going to have to compress them for a longer lifetime. There's a few different things that I'm rolling around in my head how I'm going to do that. These are like ninja batteries because they they weigh a lot more than I expected them to. Of course it had everything in like grams or kilograms or something like that and I'm in the United States we use pounds and stuff here so these are like 11 to 12 pounds a piece. I would love to put them inside the battery rack, you know, on those slide out drawers that I have, but I don't know if I can put all 16 on one, you know, on one drawer. I will have to find out. I'm gonna have to find out how much weight each drawer can handle. Cause if they could handle like 200 pounds, then I'm golden. If it's only hundred pounds, I might have to put eight on each drawer. Anyway, I have, you know, plenty of time to figure some of that stuff out. I'm just super excited that I'm gonna have a pretty big battery bank. Well, at least bigger than what I have over there. And I can discharge these bad boys at 1C. That's 272 amps. That's technically more than my inverter can do. So this is going to be a huge help. Not that I'm probably going to hook up my stove or or dryer right away because, you know, that'll just be a huge drain on the batteries. I'll probably if these all test out pretty good, I may end up ordering some more, but we'll see. That's pretty much all I got. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, or helpful information, put all that in the comment section. If anybody's looking for these, of course, I will have a link to where I got them from. And I spoke to an Emily Pang, I think. She was super friendly, nice, you know, and gave me all the information I needed. If anybody is, you know, looking for videos to watch on these, I have been geeking out. <laughs> you guys want to binge watch a whole bunch of videos on cells just like these? I think he's got the 280 amp hour cells. But anyway, if you guys want a whole bunch of videos to just binge watch, which I have been doing, actually, this is the guy that kind of convinced me on pretty much these kind of cells, but I think his name is Andy, but don't quote me on that. Uh, his YouTube channel is The Off Grid Garage, and he is down in Australia. And I, you know, I just can't wait for him to upload a video. And he, he goes through pretty much everything that he learns and or knows. I'm not sure why I'm so close to the camera, but I am, so I'm going with it. Um, yeah, I mean, he just lo uploads so much stuff about these cells as he learns, which I am learning a crap ton from. So if you guys, you know, need something to watch in the meantime or anything like that, you should check out his channel and subscribe. And you know what else? You know how I have cats that like to help he has frogs that like to 
help him or interrupt him as well. It's pretty hilarious. Anyway, uh, check him out, link down below. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much all the time I got. I gotta run to work. I think tonight whenever I get home, I will start another video and we will at least do all the voltage checks. And I would like to maybe do the internal resistance with the, um, what is that called? The Xtar Dragon VP4 Plus, even though it's, I don't think it's designed for anything like this, but we're gonna give it a try anyway. Oh, and we'll probably weigh the batteries and all that kind of stuff too. So lots of battery stuff coming. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you on the next one. Dear friend, that's me. Thanks for your support and trust to Bazin, or Bazin, I'm not sure. We are here for hoping Happy New Year and Lyshen 272 and then it's got a 280 amp hour in the little thingies. Get a lot of feedback and good reviews. There is one thing we wanna make it clear for you. As end of years, orders of the Lyshen 272 amp hours get a sharp increase. Oh, okay. Lyshen factory sends goods without PVC for time delivery. I don't even know what that means. So we coded it by our own workers for safe shipping and using. If there is any defect or make any inconvenient to you, please feel free to inform us. We will help to solve it as we can. Uh, I might need that. Um, uh, whoop, there's the ceiling. And, um, um, but, and, uh, um, 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 but, Probably good, right? I'm sure I'm forgetting something.